Baby, come to Manila. Money is not the problem. Oh, baby, you are so beautiful. Baby, you are the sugar my tea. Baby, you are the this. Baby, you are the that. Oh, baby, I've never seen anyone like you. Baby, you are the first black girl I have dated in the Philippines. Run for your life. Hi, guys. <laughs> Do you all like my flower? <laughs> it's a gift from a friend, Eritrean friend. My husband buys me flower, but to me this is special. <laughs> I just wanted to share with you all that oh I got a flower. I'm gonna keep it here. I'm gonna get a vase and put the root in so that it can still remain fresh. You know, it's so cute, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Okay, guys, regarding the topic, how I got played by my Nigerian boyfriend in the Philippines. Before I continue this video, I want to ask this question. Do Filipino guys cheat on their girlfriends or are they players? I want to know. My late boyfriend was the first guy, was the first Nigerian guy I dated in the Philippines, okay? So, after he died, I I had my baby. So after I had my baby, I waited another year, like almost two years. I said, okay, let me give other guys chance, okay? Because then, during that process of mourning, I said, would I get another man that would treat me this way, you know? When I gave another man the chance to come into my life, like I said, if I like a man, I will tell them that I have a baby. So, there was this guy I dated. I dated two guys, actually. Guys, <laughs> you know, when you're in love, you can do stupid things for love. You know, when a Nigerian guy wants to play you, he will see it under the terms that, ah, we are not dating, we are just helping ourselves. That is what most of them do. So, guy, this guy was dating, he said he was a prince. Me, because I loved him, I was doing everything for him. I was cooking, I was washing dishes, I was doing everything. <laughs> Things we do for love, guys. In fact, I was feeding him. I don't have money, but when I get money from the braids I make, I use it to buy food for him. You know what this guy is doing? When he gets his own money, he sent it to his girlfriend in Nigeria. He has a girlfriend in Nigeria, but he told me he never had a girlfriend. He was like, it's complicated, it's this, it's that. And I was a fool. You know, Nigerian men, some guys, please, don't say I'm, I'm, I'm generalizing it, it's some. Nigerian men have a way of manipulating you. You will actually catch them lying but they will still be lying to say that that lie was a lie <laughs> this guy I was dating doesn't know how to get rid of me because he's done with me you know all these stupid guys they don't like good women they don't like good women they take good women for granted they treat her like a trash they treat her like anything so he started gossiping and Nigerian men in the Philippines they gossip a lot. Oh, I've never seen anyone gossiping like Nigerian men in the Philippines. Ah, those ones. Anyways, because somebody is not paying them, that's why. This guy was making a plan on how to throw me out of his house. So he doesn't know how to tell me. And then he told a fellow girl. That is why, I don't know why women, they, they hate themselves, but if you see anyone that loves you, do not take her for granted. So this stupid boyfriend told a girl that, um, why would I come and be staying in his house? Why would I spend lots of time in his house? I'm eating all his food. Guys, food that I'm buying with my own money. <laughs> that, um... I'm forcing myself on him. That is Nigerian guys for you. They will say you're forcing yourself on them. 
He was saying all sorts of negative things about me. But he doesn't know how to tell me. So he made a plan with someone on how to push me out of the house. So this girl he told that likes me because she loved the way I was um, doing things. And she doesn't like the fact that I'm with a stupid guy who doesn't appreciate everything I was doing. So she called me and told me everything that the guy said. Guys, I got angry. I got mad. So I went to Nepo Mall where he was doing shopping. He was outside. And I was on a tricycle. When he saw me come, he was like, Nne, what happened? I got mad and when I alighted, I almost slapped him. I said, are you crazy? How dare you say such a thing about me? Me, I left my son with my sister to be with you sometimes. I use my money to buy food. In fact, the day I don't have money, I give my book as collateral to get money so that we can eat food. And you are behind me saying trash. God punish you. Then I was insulting him. Guys. I, I, he was so he was so lucky that I did not slap him well because my So after that I went home, I took my test, I left. I left. Initially it was um difficult to accept the fact that um I was played because after some time I went back to him. I started seeing the other girl who told me this as an enemy because this guy twisted everything. But later on, guys, I realized that I'm being stupid. I'm not wanted. What am I doing with this guy? Why? What is happening? And then I stopped seeing him. We had issue. And he, doesn't, he didn't like the way it ended because I insulted him. So, I told myself that I cannot continue with this. I don't like the way I'm being treated. No. I see people being treated like a queen in their relationship. If I'm being treated like a queen, is it a bad thing? No, I'm a queen. Yeah, I'm a queen. I told myself that and then I, I moved on. And then I met another stupid guy. That one was the worst. That one, he has a very big mouth. He can gossip, oh Jesus, he can gossip, and he can kiss and tell. He's this kind of a guy that, when he has something to do with a woman, he tells everybody, oh, I'm done with this woman, you know? <laughs> I hate guys that after they've had something to do with a lady, they start telling everyone, oh, I'm done with her, oh, I fucked her, oh, I saw, she's not, she's smelling, oh. You know, when I hear people I have a friend, she told me, she came to me crying, saying, Glory, my boyfriend and I slept. After we finished sleeping, he went out telling people he slept with me. I feel so ashamed. I said, no, you guys slept with each other, right? Yeah. So, when he, when people come and be laughing at you, that you slept with him, tell people that he has small titty. He cannot, he cannot satisfy a woman. He is one minute man. Say something that will make him feel bad. Stop allowing people to make you feel bad. The same thing I told my boyfriend. I said, you can go ahead and tell people that you had something to do with me. But if I hear it, I know what to tell them about you. And he was laughing. He said, I'm crazy. Guys, this is me trying to let men know that you cannot treat me like a piece of trash. I was in a relationship with this guy, guys. He has money. He promised to help me to pay my tuition fee. Guys, it's better you don't promise someone than for you to promise. And then I started hoping on the money. And then I discovered that he's this kind of person that he doesn't want me to go. He doesn't want me to pay my fees. He just wants me to stay there with him and be eating food. He'd rather spend his money in a hotel, but not on me. But then, then I'm not happy. And he is cheating on me. Goodness. Going about telling people that he is helping me while he is not, guys. Oh, shit. You know what I did? I was dating him. He was cheating on me. I said, no. I have to do something for myself. I started doing some Nigerian business. Some little Nigerian businesses plus my breeding. 
And with this braiding, when I was still dating him, I went to Boracay. I traveled to Boracay to go and braid because my Filipina friend said, when I go to Boracay, I will have lots of foreign clients who wants to braid. So I saved money and then I went to Boracay. I didn't ask my boyfriend to give me money because I know he will not give me. So I saved money and I went to Boracay. He started telling people, oh, that I went to Boracay to do pok pok. That I went to Boracay to do prostitution. That I went to Boracay to sleep with white men. Guys, I know a lot of women are in a relationship whereby they have men with big mouths, but, big mouth, but they are doing nothing. You are in a relationship with a man, but you are still struggling. I'm not saying that the man should give you all his money, but at least he should be of help, support. But this one, he's not doing anything. Big mouth. Only choo -choo 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 -choo. So when I went to Boracay, I met a Kenyan friend who told me to download the do that I can meet white men because me and her were talking about our relationship and I told her I don't like the way our African men are treating. After my boyfriend who died, I don't think any Nigerian man can treat me well. I want to try a white guy. She said, yes, download Badu. You can meet lots of white guys. Because when I went to Boracay for my business, it didn't work out. So I flexed. I enjoyed myself. Yeah, I saw white men there. But guys, they are in love with Filipinos. So after having fun, I came back. I started making use of my Badu. Then I found my husband. And after finding my husband, I deleted Badu because I don't have time to be joking around. I don't have time to be playing games because I have seen what I wanted. What am I trying to say, guys? Know when to walk out from a relationship that doesn't favor you, that doesn't make you happy. Don't stay there because you want to stay there. Don't stay there because people are staying out. Do not accept violence, emotional violence. Do not accept it. I told myself... That I'm a queen. In fact, that guy was telling people that he's helping me because I'm a baby mama. Do you know that guy is married in Nigeria? And he came and lied to me that he was not married. I don't know why Nigerian men are behaving this way. So, I dusted myself up. I walked out of that relationship. He, in fact, I, I was one that dumped him. I dumped him because I cannot continue with him. I cannot be managing him. No. I deserve to be treated like a queen, guys. Look at me. Am I not a queen? <laughs> so, guys, you deserve to be happy too. Some people will not walk out of a bad relationship until people ask them to leave. But me, I left. I, I, I advised myself and I, I left. And look at me happy. Look at me blooming. Look at me blossoming. You don't like me like this, guys? Look at me, I'm happy. I have a beautiful family. You know, sometimes I sit down and I begin to thank God. I'm like, if I was married to all those stupid guys I was dating, I wouldn't be happy. Look at me, I'm so happy. I have a man that, that worships me. You deserve to be worshipped. You're a woman. Okay? Do not settle for less. All those men in the Philippines, they play a game. Yes. They will tell you they will marry, they will marry, they will sleep with you, they will not marry you. Baby, come to Manila, I will give you 500 pesos. Baby, come to Manila, I will take care of you. Don't worry, money is not a problem. Baby, oh, baby, you are so beautiful. Baby, you are the sugar in my tea. Baby, you are the this, baby, you are the that. Oh, baby, I've never seen anyone like you. Baby, you are the first black girl I have dated in the Philippines. Run for your life. They are fake as a word that says is enough for the wise. I hope Nigerian men in the Philippines change. And if you're a Nigerian man watching me, better change. Because it's not going to lead you anywhere. If you stick to one woman, you'll enjoy, you'll have more money. You will enjoy yourself. And you'll be happy. Because she'll be praying for you and God will be blessing you. If you like, listen. If you like, don't listen. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.